Hi friends, welcome back to Angular with Bootstrap full tutorial series. This is part two where we are going to learn how to use Bootstrap alerts into our Angular application. In the previous episode, we learned how to install Angular application and how to install Bootstrap in our Angular application. This is the part two where we will learn how to use Bootstrap alerts in our application. All right, so before we go, let's go to Bootstrap and go to documentation. So I'm going to go to components and let's start with alerts, right? So bootstrap alerts, we want to show these based on some condition. So let's copy one of it. So this is a primary alert which we want to use in our project directory. So I'm going to put it right here in bootstrap. So this is a simple alert that we are using with the class alert, alert primary, right? So now I'm going to first run it and show it, show it to you in output and then we will connect it with our backend component. So this is how simply you can integrate any bootstrap component into Angular application. So let's first see the output then we'll customize this alert box. refresh okay so we see that there is an alert here right so now let's plug in some code to make it with our component so in my component i'm going to add a variable and i'm saying is alert equal to true if alert is true right let's say you want to show some value right so if alert is true, then only we should be able to show the alert box. So let's put here condition and say we'll be using ng if, right? And we are going to use a variable which will say that whether it should be mapping or not. Right, so now it's true. Let's go back, make it false. So now we don't see it because the variable is set to false so you see here now we have just taken the alert box and we have added our ng if condition which is to show it from this now let's say we want to change the alert message right uh, we'll say uh, user mm, updated So let's say I have some linting because it should be single quotes. So I have an alert message which I want to bind in my alert. Instead of this, now we'll remove and we'll place our alert. It should be double quotes, double braces. So all right. So now we have set our alert message to be dynamic. Now we don't see it. Now let's go back to our component, make it true. And we have the alert message. Now you see user updated successfully. So this is how we have created a simple alert and we have put a if else condition and we have mapped the data. Now let's say we want to put a toggle, right? So similarly, you can use any other um, say success, danger or any of those you can easily add them and here i'm going to put a negation so you can put ng if equal to is not alert so now we are using a negative of it so now we should see now if we make this false we should see the other one right so this is how you can use angular bootstrap alerts into your angular application this is a quick start guide we'll keep working on building a product but i hope you are understanding and following how to use bootstrap components in your angular application right in the next episode i'll cover a breadcrumbs navbar responsive design and lot more tutorials so stay tuned to this also if you have any doubts how to use bootstrap alerts in your application drop me a comment and i will be able to help you and please friends i request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me
thank you so much see you in the next episode